Okay, uh, so next topic natin. Wait, uh, thank you pala kasi nanonood pa rin kayo. Ayun. Next topic natin ay Doppler effect and under pa rin to ng sound. So, in our own simple words, Doppler effect is the change in frequency due to a relative velocity between the source and observer. So, ano yung review lang natin? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng relative velocity? Relative velocity, kunyari meron tayong isang object, pangalawang object, then nagmove sila ng sabay. It's as if kung papahintuin natin to, iisipin mo ikaw to kahit na gumagalaw kayo. Yun yung velocity na nakikita mo doon sa pangalawang object. So, in other words, in simple terms, ang example, pag sabay kayo, parehas kayo ng velocity, it's as if hindi siya gumagalaw pag nasa harapan mo. Para siyang nakahinto lang. So, zero yung relative velocity. Okay. So, pag magkaiba kayo ng velocity, ayun, nagkakaroon kayo ng relative movement or relative velocity. Now, Doppler effect. Formula based lang muna tayo ha. Okay, Doppler effect F prime uh, is equal to yun yung change in frequency. Original frequency times speed of sound plus or minus speed ng observer V plus or minus speed ng source. Okay. So, example muna. Or, i-describe ko muna. Kunwari, may dalawang tao. Dalawang tao. Magkaharap sila. Ayan. Kasi ito, kunwari, ah, sumigaw. Okay. So, since siya yung sumigaw, ibig sabihin siya yung source. Kasi ito yung observer, siya yung nakikinig. O, kunwari, gumalaw siya papunta dyan. Tapos, gumalaw din siya papunta dito. Ang tendency ng wave is since moving sila towards each other, makompress. Sa so, ano nangyari pag nakakompress? Di ba yung frequency nun? Tumataas? Naiipit yung sound wave mo? So, yun yung i-discuss natin sa Doppler effect. Now, tingnan natin. Oh. Pag yung observer, ito, nagmumove towards Oh, huwag muna natin pansinin yung source. Kung yung observer mo, nagmumove towards dun sa source ng sound mo, nakocompress mo, di ba? Ibig sabihin yung frequency mo tumataas. So, ang mangyayari, ang sign convention natin sa observer, observer, positive if moving towards the source. Positive, pag positive yan, mag increase yung frequency mo ngayon. Ngayon, pag moving away siya, lumalayo siya, yung observer ha, lumalayo siya, ibig sabihin, yung frequency mo is bumababa. So, pag si observer, para bumaba yung frequency na yon dapat minus to. Pag minus mo yan, kung moving away siya, tsaka bababa yung frequency. Negative if away. Ngayon, si source naman. Kunwari si source. Towards muna tayo ha. Kung ang source mo moving towards, dapat ang frequency mo nag increase kasi naiipit mo yung sound. mag increase to. Ano dapat yung sign ng Vs para tumaas yung F prime? Dapat minus. No? So, negative if towards and kabalik ta yan, positive pag away. Okay. Pwede nyo tandaan yan conceptually or gawa na lang tayo ng mnemonics no, para mas mabilis tayo. Observer positive pag towards. Source positive pag away. Ops pa. Ops pa. Ops pa. Alam nyo. Masa so, tandaan mo ang sign nyan. Ops pa. Like, again, observer, positive, toward, source, positive. Okay, pagbigyan nyo na, pero nag-work naman yun, tatandaan natin para sa board exam. No? Ops pa. Ops pa. Ops pa. Ops pa. Okay. Uh, example tayo. Okay. Example. 
car A moves at 72 kilometers per hour and car B moves at pangit ng sulat ko dito ah. Car <laughs> moves at 72 kilometers per hour, RB moves 90 kilometers per hour approaching each other if the speed of the sound was waves in the air is 350 mili- uh, meters per second and then what is the frequency of sound heard by the driver fro- of car B from car A? So, okay, drawing tayo. Say it's A. Say B. Then approaching each other daw sila. Kulang to ng given. Sabihin natin si car A with frequency of honk at 650 hertz. So, si car A bumusina 650 hertz. So, siya yung source. Ito yung observer. Okay, so formula lang tayo. Formula. F prime is equal to F V Ang taas pala O. So, ang palatandaan ko lang dun. Alphabetical. So, nauna yung O kesa sa S. Okay. So, sign convention. Op, ops pa. Ops pa. So, dapat pala, ang gagamitin natin Observer, positive, pag towards. So, si observer, towards. So, positive si observer. Source, positive, pag away. E yung source mo, towards din eh. So, ina-negative mo yung source. Okay, na adjusted na formula natin. Okay, so, bali F prime is equal to 650. V daw is 350. Okay, syempre kailangan i-convert muna natin to 72 kilometers per hour. 1 kilometer, 1,000 meters. 1 hour is 300, ah, 3,600 seconds. So, 72 times 1,000 divide 3,600. 20 meters per second. So, yung si car A, 20. So, pag ginawa niyo yung same na conversion, gawin nyo rin to doon, 25. So, si observer mo, si B, 25. So, plus 25. Si source mo, 20. So, 20 minus 20. Ngayon kung Ako kasi Nag-unit conversion na lang ako no? Yung dimensional analysis Para mag-convert Yung iba naman preferred na i-calc na lang Okay lang din naman Kaso ganito na lang sana no? Mabilis lang yung conversion Pero pag sa calc yun meron tayong shift convert uh, 19 ata Yan Yan So, pwede nyo ilagay dito yung 72 kilometers per hour. Labas yung 20. Pwede nyo ilagay dito yung 90 kilometers per hour. Labas yung 25. Diba? So, ang sagot na lang dito, 6, 650 times 350 plus 25, 350 minus 20. 738. Point sixty four hertz. Okay, another example. An observer at rest near the source of sound of frequency six eighty four hertz. Another source of sound of six seven six hertz is so, ang pangit ng grammar is moving 
towards the observer at 2 meters per second. If the speed of sound is 340 hertz, then what is the beat frequency heard by the observer? Okay, bagong term, beat frequency. Ano yan? Um, okay. ECE. Pag meron kayong dalawang frequency na pinaghalo aka modulate di ba nagpo-produce sila ng dalawang signal na ang frequency ay sum tsaka difference okay in layman's term yung bit frequency is yung difference ng dalawang frequency na yun okay so, madali lang to kung hindi gumagalaw yung pangalawang source. So, ima-minus mo lang. 684 minus 676. 8 hertz. 8 hertz. <laughs> e kaso gumagalaw. So, kailangan muna natin alamin yung nangyari sa frequency nitong 676 na to. Okay. Doppler, F prime, F, V, V, plus minus, O muna, S yung pangalawa. Okay. So, 676 times V. 340 340 Source of sound Moving towards the observer So yung source Towards Ops pa Ops pa Source positive pag away So kung towards ka Source positive pag away Pag towards ka Di negative ka Yung source Minus 2 2 daw eh Ano ba yung observer mo? At rest So yung observer mo Zero. Okay, so pag kinumpit mo to magiging uh, 680 hertz. Ayun na. So, yung beat frequency mo, minus mo lang. No? Pero yung mas malaki, minus. Wala namang negative na frequency. So, yung mas malaki, 684 hertz, minus 680 hertz. 4 hertz. Okay, so yan yung para sa Doppler effect. Okay. Uh, kung di pa kayo nakasubscribe, subscribe na kayo. Kasi after nitong physics, termo naman, no? Siyempre sa si JS. Tas, abangan nyo lang din kasi nag upload din naman kami ng chem, kas uh, ng Elex kasabay ngayon. JS Elex. After nito, most likely EST. Yung mat, tsaka na muna. Kasi... Marami namang references din ng math. So, unahin natin yung konti yung source as uh, supply. Pero, malaking demand. Diba? So, LXESTJS. Okay, thank you. Subscribe and share.